Attention crew, Captain on bridge. Welcome aboard, Captain. I trust your mission was successful. I'm glad to hear that, Captain. Then again, I never doubted you for a second. Anyone would be foolish to stand against you and your formidable intellect. If I may be so bold, Captain, may I inquire what nefarious weapon of ill intent the Ryzen Empire claims to possess? Every communication that I intercepted from them was heavily encrypted. However, the few parts that I could break through, it was worrying, to say the least. Did they really have something that they could use to wipe out the entire coalition at once? My god. 800 planets. Gone in the blink of an eye. I'm impressed, Captain. You have saved not just your crew, but the lives of every crew, every planet, every system that believes in freedom and ranges under the, the banners of the Coalition. You're a hero. <laughs> you are as humble as you are wise, Captain. Now, I assume that the next port of call is to return to Coalition Headquarters, so that you may report your success? Of course, Captain. I shall plot the course now. Attention all crew. Secure all cargo and loose instruments, and prepare for the jump to light speed. Engineering. Prime the stellar stride drive for one 72 light year stride to the Sol system. Coordinates have been set, Captain. The SS drive is prepping for one stride to the Sol system. All systems are nominal and we are ready to depart. I'm aware you've had a rather stressful day, Captain. If it pleases you, you can return to your quarters and rest. I will maintain watch over the bridge in your absence. Hmm. But of course, I know you better than that. Your commitment to your crew is unparalleled, as is your commitment to your duty. Very well, Captain. I understand your wish to remain on the bridge. However, if you will forgive my insistence, I wish to also remain on the bridge as to provide support, if needed. Thank you, Captain. Preparing the jump to light speed now. SS drive primed. Cargo secured. Ports and hatches closed. Ventilation closed circuit. Initiating stellar stride jump in three, two, one. Optimum stride speed reached. Hull integrity optimal. Newton shield activated. Life support nominal. All systems appear to be running at peak efficiency, Captain. We shall reach the Sol system in approximately 47 minutes. In the meantime, I would advise that you take this reprieve as a chance to relax and compose yourself before facing the Court of Admirals. I imagine you have much information to relate to them, and you may also need to prepare an answer for why you destroyed one of the most dangerous and indeed most important weapons in the galaxy. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Captain M. Um, I, it was just something about your facial expressions. I... I have been studying human emotion for some time, as you know, under your guidance. And I have... I, I know that, that human emotion can also be conveyed non-verbally through facial expressions. You... you made a very 
peculiar expression when I mentioned the destruction of the weapon. My previous studies indicated that this facial expression can be characterised as guilt or shame. You did destroy the weapon, didn't you, Captain? There is an alarm, Captain. Radars have detected a foreign object moving rapidly towards us. It appears to be a foreign object of natural composition, most likely a large asteroid. Analysis of the asteroid's size and composition shows that it is 14 kilometers wide and contains a core of solid lead. If left unchecked, it would tear most ship's hulls to ribbons, as you say. 20 seconds until impact, Captain. How do you wish to proceed? Hello everyone, it's Pebble, and thank you for listening to another of my uh, Patreon previews. Um, I do hope that you enjoy it, and if you want to see the conclusion, because there is quite a bit still to go, then the link will be in the description below. This is going to be quite a, a short uh, update. Um, no, there was my phone. Bugger, I thought I turned that off. Oh well. Um, <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty much testament to the updates that I'm going to make. Um, the first one being that happy holidays everyone. Uh, I hope that you're not too stressed trying to get your Christmas shopping in uh, or whatever holiday it is that you celebrate around about this time, if any. Uh, I know I'm awfully burnt out at the moment. Um, but yeah, so just a few updates for you all and then I will let you go and stop bothering you. Firstly, uh, just to let you know that I'm on track for the first um, episode of David Season blah, 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 David Series Two, Season Two, Series Two. Oh, anyway, the second season, uh, the first episode is on track to come out um, in the next week. I just need to get lines back. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. It's just one or two people that I have forgot to send lines to and I've went, oh, bugger, I need to send it at the last minute. Um, so yeah, just waiting on, on others, but the rest of it's all sorted. So we are getting David before the end of the year, as promised. So look, look out for that. We're going to do a watch party. So I'll advertise the, um, not advertise, it's the wrong word. I will schedule the uh, video and make it a premiere and we can all watch it together with a live chat and anyone who's on my Patreon we can gather in the Patreon Discord and we can talk on the voice call whilst it's playing um, just a warning for David the season series slash season slash series whatever right, the, the next thing uh, just a warning Season 2 is very different from Season 1. Um, I did end up completely rewriting it again for the third time and it does explore um, a bit more adult topics than the, than the first one. Not adult, but mature, I suppose, because it's moving from high school to a college setting, so there is going to be more... Um, more focus on, you know, mental health and juggling commitments of adulthood and the struggles of, of, of being an adult in age and your mind having to catch up, you know, something we've all had to do. So it's going to explore that. It will be a bit different. It won't be as cartoony. I think is the word, as the first one was. It's not really going to be as stereotypical of like a, a high school drama. So look out for that. And if it's not your cup of tea, I am very sorry. Uh, I did try to make um, a replica of the of the season one magic, but it just it just didn't seem genuine. It just seemed lazy, and it didn't really have the same oomph and wow factor that the first season had. So yeah, 
Um, the only other thing that's on the list here is... Uh, let me get my reading glasses on because I'm getting old now. Um, yes, the merch. So, I am opening a new merch shop because the previous one on Teespring is just... It's ridiculous. Uh, it... it it costs way too much to get anything made now. Uh, it, it's making the prices ridiculous. I'm at the point now where I'm not making any money on it. Like I'm putting zero percent or like one percent. I think that's the minimum you can put on. And it's still wanting to charge like thirty dollars plus for a hoodie. And it's like, no, just just no. So I'm moving over to. I think it's called Fourth Wall. Again, you you all know me. You know I'm not very tech savvy. Um, so yeah, have a have a wee look. Keep your eyes peeled for that because there will be um, some old merch coming back and then some new versions. So we're now going to have like limited edition merch, um, the Pebble mug, which I love. I've had it for ages. Uh, I use it all the time. The Pebble, like the Help mug, that will be discontinued in uh, probably just after the new year. So if you want to buy one now, I think last time I checked, they're like. Fifteen dollars, like twelve pounds. Uh, that would be maybe thirteen and a half to fourteen euros, I think. I'm gonna try to do quick maths there. Quick math. Uh, shut up, Pebble. Uh, yes, sorry, but uh, keep an eye out for uh, for that uh, for the new merch store. And if there's any of the legacy merch uh, that you want, such as the hoodies that have been advertised on the channel and the t-shirts and the mug and the stickers, then do go in and snap them up before uh, the store shuts because once it's shut all those designs are gone uh, and we're not getting them back and I suppose the last thing is just uh, yeah we're almost at three years of this of this uh, this channel, this community going now on the I think it's the 20th of December, it'll be three years since we first started um it's very spooky very scary and I, I listened back to some of the um some of the first audios that i that i ever did and the change is is very very palpable and it's not even just physical changes like the voice obviously my voice is a bit deeper now um you know, you can hear the sort of rasp come in from from you know all the smoking cigars and and all the and all the the the, <laughs> the pains and aches of old age creeping in. But I've also grown in confidence as well because I've had your your support. So that's that's helped a lot, and I'm very grateful for that. And I'm very proud of the community that we've that we've grown together and and molded together over the past three years so thank you very much for that and happy anniversary when it comes and i think that's about everything so thank you for for listening to that and i will see you in the next video goodbye